Hey, this is Shankar, everybody. Welcome back for another amazing video. Today, we're going to be talking about how you can be more productive because clearly I know you're watching my TikToks all day long and my YouTube videos and my Instagram videos all day long and you're watching not only mine but you're watching some other people also and hopefully you're not watching some unpermissible <laughs> TikTok and stuff and there's a lot out there so what bro what are you talking about man hopefully you're not wasting your time and I think this video is for myself above everything <laughs> before anybody else because i need to start focusing on getting even more productive as you know more things come onto your plate you got to get productive you got to be more efficient you got to know how to use your time for your highest value return so without any further ado let's get this video started So let's break this down as to why productivity is so important. And, I, and you guys have probably watched Ali Abdal's video and, 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 and some other people, YouTubers' videos and, and seen you know their productivity videos and you're like, okay, man, I work a nine to five where I do this and that and that's about it. That's all I need to focus on. Well, I'll tell you what it is, okay? For you to be richer, to make that mashallah money, to be to the next stage of the hierarchy of you know how to get rich that I've shown you guys, you guys can watch that video here, I'll link it. It's important you understand that you will have to work smarter and harder for a certain period of time before you can only work smarter. Um, you know, you cannot work smart without having to work hard in the initial stages. And, 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 but if you can combine both of them and become Elon Musk, right? Because he's working smart and hard at the same time, you become Elon Musk. It's important to understand productivity is a key component for you to get rich and uh, for you to get more successful. So let's just say you have a job right now. I have friends who are engineers, who are doctors, who are or becoming doctors, who are lawyers or analysts or financial, blah, 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 blah. They're working hard, you know, they come back home, they have three hours or five hours are still available to them to, in, in the day. And I'm pushing them hard to start something on the side. Why? Because that's when you can shift your uh, career point and you can go into something that you're doing for yourself and you can then travel the world do all the things that you wanted to do blah 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 blah, and not you know complain about your job every single day and especially my friends who come to me and they complain about their jobs and stuff that's it i tell them i'm like this is your time to focus on building your own business building your own uh career and you know finding your opportunities or making your opportunities i've always talked about make your opportunities and find your opportunities instead of you being locked and and then becoming content in this job lifestyle where you're like a machine, you're like a robot. And I mean, reality is you can help somebody else make their million dollars or you can help yourself make a million dollars. So, but if you want to help yourself make a million dollars, you need to understand productivity and you need to do the nine to five and then you need to do another side business where you're working five hours a day. Yes, I want you to be working 16 hours a day. It's true, you heard it here. Why? Because you're young, you can do it and this is going to help levitate you to the next thing where in four years where you know you can quit your jobs you can start focusing on passive income and then start focusing on bigger uh, businesses and then making more money why to make more money i'm not getting into this conversation because this is a long conversation i think i can do a video on itself why muslims need to focus on making more money or why anybody in general needs to focus on making more money uh, because we live in that era where if you want to say if you want the miserable, like if you want the things that are happening in in, our, in all our communities, which are horrific, uh, you, if you want them to stop, there's a way you can get them to stop. Because not anymore is right and wrong a way to determine what should happen. Right now, it's about money, influence, and power that determines what should happen. Anywho, that's another rant. So let's talk about productivity. Here's a, here are my few tips on how you can be more productive. Here are a few tips that can help you get more productive. So let's start off with number one. Number one is you need to get a daily planner. What I mean by that is just get a white piece of paper and at the top of it write date and write uh, and then divide it down into time, section it off. You, if you don't know a lot of what your day looks like and you wanna just do morning, afternoons, evenings, that's fine. What I do is hour, 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 hour. And that way I know what I'm doing within that specific hour and I literally write it down. Uh, sometimes, you know, I, I already have it set up for me on my uh, Google calendars where I know what's going on. I have meetings, I have specific requirements that are due, I have tasks. And then what you can do is you can have tasks and you can push them into a specific time frame and then you can do it while doing that. Obviously within each task or time frame, keep a little bit of gap because you don't know something may overlap one another. You need to go press Salah, sometimes you want to eat some food, sometimes you want to call a friend, whatever you want to do, you do what you got to do. So you got to uh, set up this planner and you might be thinking, oh man, that's such a, that's such a lame thing. But no, 
Trust me, your life will change. I used to have a physical planner. I still have a physical planner, but I'm thinking about transferring most of my stuff to a virtual or like an online planner where everything is online. Uh, I kind of know my next day, what it looks like. And the goal is that you take that planner, right? You got the you got the uh, day, times, setup slots, and you got your tasks, and you just fill it out. You can do it either in the morning, as soon as you wake up, right before you know your morning meetings or blah, blah, blah whatever it is, or you can do it the night before, right before you go to sleep while sitting on bed, 15 minutes, blub, just shove everything in there. And sometimes you can even plan for the next few days because you have so many things going on. And that can help you actually manage all the things that are on your plate a lot better. And then once you start doing that, you are more productive. And because you're more productive, you have more time. And when you realize you have more time, you can do more things. You can start thinking about the side hustle that you wanted to do and all that stuff. So get yourself a piece of paper, just start off like that, okay? And get your get yourself a day planner. Uh, you don't even have to buy one online. Do not buy it. Honestly, that's stupid. Just get a white piece of paper, get a template from online, and just either print it or just write it by your hand. I wouldn't even say have a full piece of paper. Just cut that piece of paper in half or just, honestly, what I do, I have that um, like half paper base like notebook, and I just use that as it's, as it's my day planner or I use Google Calendar, but I fill it. Uh, not always. This is what I'm saying. This video is for me and for yourself. Uh, but I feel it as much as I could and I and I try to follow it by as it is because that helps you organize your day, understand your time and implement and actually achieve a lot of productivity in your day. Let's go to number two. Number two is understand who you are as a person. This is a lot of people don't talk about this in the productivity world is, is that, you know, your own personality. A lot of people don't understand themselves. First, start to understand yourself. Are you someone who likes to work a little bit and but take bigger breaks, or is it like who are you as a person? Do you like sports or do you not like sports? And and and, and does sports add to your productivity or does it take away from your productivity? Because I know people who have this formula where they put on a five-minute timer and then they uh, you know work in that five-minute timer. They have that. They have just one screen just for timer, and then they they work in that five-minute timer, and then they have a one-minute break where they're just on TikTok and, they, and that's that formula is very successful for them because there it's like a small reward every time right it's like a small reward every time for some people you know they can do 10 minutes of work and then two minutes of break or whatever their formula is figure that formula out for yourself so understand yourself it's very important are you the type of person that needs to throw away their phone literally just throw away their phone while working uh, so you don't watch TikTok so you're not on Instagram so you're not on Facebook I, I don't think anybody uses Facebook anymore why are you running why are you running? But <laughs> and you, if you're that type of person, figure that out for yourself. First, understand who you are and understand what makes you more product productive and what doesn't make you more product pro productive. This is my tip number two because a lot of people don't talk about oh hard like about this aspect that you need to understand yourself. And if you don't understand yourself, then do different things to figure out you know what works for you. For example, for me, what I've done is just like the five minute things. I, obviously, I haven't put a screen for it. I don't want to waste a screen just for time but um i figured I, I i've tried different variations of it and i realized after every 30 minutes i need to go eat <laughs> i need to go eat something i need to go have a snack or something it's not even just tiktok it's just i need to go have a snack or something uh i just need to get up and just uh move or something right or uh, like not something needs to change so or i just shift what i'm working on so if i'm working on excel sheets then i'll just shift to like writing scripts for youtube and stuff like that and then i'll shift back to my excel sheets or something like that so that needs to happen and i realized i'm more productive in certain areas like in the house or i'm more productive in certain settings for example i love being in cafes and and i realize this because i went to different cafes i went to different places to work i went to the library i went to a cubicle i went to a place where they open workspaces i went to just park and started working in parks you know and, and and it's not just even spaces it's also understanding the temperature understanding the noise levels understanding who's around you for example i cannot work around my family because I, like my mother's in front of me i want to be with my mother i want to be spending time with her i want to be talking to her i want to just you know just just spend time with family so i know if i'm around family it's not gonna be productive as much so i need to be away from family so this type of stuff you need to figure out for yourself that's tip number two is understand yourself very important so tip number three and this tip is very important and a lot of people skip this tip and honestly this tip is for myself and for everybody else is wake up pray fudger is very important a uh, few of the biggest successful individuals have said this that they like to wake up early super early and they like to sleep 
early also and it's the reason behind this and so I, what i say is generally is try to keep your day in the way that the, the prayers are you wake up at fajr you sleep at isha and but sometimes you know the, the gap is too tight or sometimes the gap is too big so you can kind of adjust but the whole thing is that that should be your time frame that you're looking at because that makes your life complete you you sleep after praying amazing sleep you wake up and you pray uh, you're gonna wake up very happy and healthy so wake up for fajr and if you're a non-muslim wake up early and do your exercises and even if you're a muslim wake up pray fajr do exercises on an empty stomach do exercises Go to the gym if you want to, or just sit at home for 20 minutes, just do exercise, or go out for a walk for 10 minutes, and listen to Surah Yasin, or do whatever, whatever you need to do for the 10 minutes, right? Go for a walk on an empty stomach. What this is gonna do is it's gonna get your blood flowing, it's gonna get you activated, and in the morning time when the sun is out, it's gonna help your brain to shift into morning zone. Because when we were working at nighttime, your brain, uh, I think it's your melatonin, it's, it's, it's or was it? I forget exactly what the, the hormone is, it is, that, 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 that it's forcing you to sleep, but you're staying awake, right? And by drinking caffeine, that's not healthy for you, that's not making you productive, that's making you feel depressed and miserable, trust me, I know. So try to wake up in the morning, start your work from there, and start it off with a healthy morning by praying, being active, so that flow starts going, and then you start off your day strong, and you go through with it in a very good flow. I want to give you the fourth one also in this video because it's linked with this is eat in proportions. A lot of people don't do this is uh, they, they eat a breakfast, very heavy breakfast and a very heavy lunch and then a very heavy dinner and then that's it. And then they have snacks in between, right? I would say break that down into five meals throughout the day and break it into smaller meals. What that does is that helps your body store its energy because a lot of your body's energy is used to consume the food that you're eating. I don't I don't think if you knew this, but if you didn't know this research on this, your body uses a lot of your energy just to consume the food. And then especially when you're eating a lot of food, you're gonna feel very tired and that's not gonna make you productive. Rather, you, you're gonna feel this tiredness, you're gonna feel this itis, and you're gonna want to drink coffee so you can get back into work. Better than that is just honestly break down your meals. When you wake up in the morning, for three hours, don't eat anything, then have your first meal, which is a tiny, tinier meal. Oh, breakfast, I use, uh, you can have a bigger one, but um, right, you have your meal, then after three hours, you have a little bit more, after three hours, you have a little bit more, after three hours, you have a little bit more, then three hours, you can have a little bit more, and then the next three hours, you stay empty. St like, I mean, you don't have to eat anything, you just go to sleep after. It's gonna help you lose weight if you manage your calories properly, and it's gonna help you be active throughout the day. There's also another study which says that if you have, if you're on empty stomach, for most of the day, the empty stomach part is when you're going to be the most active. That's why a lot of people do um, intermittent fasting and then they're feeling so active until they hit that point where they really need some glucose and they really need some energy. And then that's when they break their intermittent fasting and then they eat something for three hours period, right? So you can look into this and see if that works for you and your body type. Hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you did, share this with your friends, make them more productive. If they become more productive, they're gonna get richer. And when they get richer, they're gonna invite you to barbecues, which are not just chicken legs. They're gonna be having lambs. They're gonna have lamb chops. They're gonna have ribs. They're gonna have some amazing, they might even have camels there. So why not make your friends richer, right? So make them productive, make them richer. Hope you guys like the video. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys are doing to be more productive. I'm gonna be sharing more tips, hopefully, inshallah, in new videos. And let me know what you think. Take care of yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Do subscribe, like, share, hit that bell icon for notifications. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content. I'll be uploading more stuff in all of these social media websites. Thanks. Take care. Salam.